This is one out of four full page Elementor containers. And watch this, as I scroll down, the entire container snaps and locks in the correct height of the 100 view height. If I continue to do it again, it snaps to a new section. And to be honest, this took five full days of working to create. So please send some love in the comments and share this with your Elementor friends. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve this design and how I built it from scratch. I'll also provide you with the images and you only have to use a few lines of code because this is possible without a plugin. And here is a behind the scenes look of this project and how it looks without any content inside. And here you can really see the snap scroll effect going on and the smooth transition every time. What's really cool about this project is that the wording here in the logo actually also changes every time. And up here, you can see it also changes the color. So let me reveal how to achieve this inside Elementor. But first, let me show you that Elementor actually already has this feature, but it's really, really bad. It's not smoothly, so I won't recommend that you use it. Okay, so now I'm inside the Elementor editor, so I can reveal how to build this from scratch. But first, I just want to mention that if you want to save time and just get going, you can also just use my Elementor library here and copy the entire design. And then it's copied to your clipboard and then you can insert it on another page. And there you go. That's how easy it is. Now you have imported the entire design and it's ready for you to use. So let's go back inside Elementor Editor and start building. All right, so here we have the header, but the first thing we will do is create the main container, which should contains all the sections. So I'll just create a normal container and make sure it's full width. And that's all for this container. So I'll just inside that create another container and drag this in because this is where our hero section will be. And I will just set this background image that you saw in the beginning this one and again you can download all these images in the description below so make sure that this is uh, centered and it's set to cover and no repeat and then go to layout because this have to be view height 100 view height or else this won't work so i'll set it to 100 view height like this all right so now there is some space around here we'll just fix that to do that i'll just right click and go into structure or is also called navigator in the old days. Rename this uh, main container. And this one is our hero one. So I'll click the main container, go inside advanced and just remove the padding. So now we ha don't have this white space around. All right, let's go ahead and insert the moon image. So I'll just drag in the Elementor image widget here and find the moon image here. Okay, so I'll also insert the heading on top of this and maybe style this a bit. I'll just write hero one and let me quickly style this, make it wide and maybe set the font size to something like this. And of course, open sans and set the weight to 900 and center it. Maybe also center the entire hero section with the content, justify content here. Okay, before we move on with this design, let's just add this snap scrolling effect and add the other three hero sections. And by the way, you can also just download this uh, as a starting point from my Elementor library. But if you don't want to do it and just want to create it yourself, you have to go in the description below and find this code. And you need to copy this ID, the full page, go back to Elementor and find the main container because the main container needs to have this as a CSS ID. And then you have to go to the first hero section and go back to my code link here. And this is all in order and copy this one, section one. I'll just click command C and go inside here and insert it as a CSS ID. And the same thing here is just section. Copy this one and insert it as a CSS class like this. Okay, so now we can actually duplicate this three times. I'll just rename it over here. So now all the way down here, we have this. And I'll maybe change the background in a bit so we can tell the difference. But I first want to remove this white space between every one, every section. And to do that, I go into main container and layout and then just remove these gaps and set it to zero. So now it's gone. 
Okay, and inside each hero section, you actually need to change this ID. I'll go into advanced on number two here. And as you can see here on my page, the section two needs to be this one. And it's just the only thing that changes is the number. So I'll just go through all these and give it a new CSS ID, call it two. And the next one here will be three. And the last one here, four. There you go. And change this heading. So it's number four, three, sorry, two. Okay, let's go ahead and publish this and view it in a new tab so we can see how it looks now. Okay, as I scroll down, you can see there is still no uh, snap scrolling going on. This is just a normal boring page scroll. So let's fix that. I'll go back. And this is where the magic happens because now we need to add a few lines of code. So navigate to my link here in the description again, where you can find the code. And you can see we have inserted all the CSS IDs. So step number two here is the CSS code. I'll just click copy over here and go back. And there, and then down here at the bottom, I'll, bottom, I'll just search for the HTML widget, drag it in and insert the code I just copied like this command V. Okay, go ahead and right click on this and click duplicate because we also need to insert some javascript so i'll just go back to the code here and choose this the last three step here and copy this javascript code navigate back into our elementor editor and of course delete everything here in number two this is just css i will just insert the javascript like this okay now let's publish this again and take a look now so I scroll down and there you go. Now we have the snap on scroll. Okay, now we can continue working on the first hero section here. And I think I will only show you the first section because the other three are actually just the same principle. You just need to insert different images. And the first thing I'll do is just go ahead and click on the hero section one here and actually duplicate it. And then change the name to something like hero one bottom. And just navigate down here to it and delete the content inside, also this moon, and then change the background to this one and insert it. All right, and also make sure that this is not 100 view height, this should just be pixels and just zero. And also inside advanced, this doesn't need to have any uh, CSS class. All right, so now it almost disappeared. So I'll go inside this layout again and give it a height of 400. There you go. And please make sure that this background color is transparent. So now this is where the magic happens. I really like this part. Uh, I will go ahead and click here and set this to minus 400. So now everything starts to be like the final result but we still need these elements to move at a different speed so to achieve that you go inside my code link and scroll down to the bottom here and copy this CSS code so I'll just click copy and go back and then I want this hero background to move so the clouds back here needs to move so I'll go inside hero section 1 and inside advanced and then here in custom CSS, I'll insert the code I just copied. So now you can see the entire background is moving. Okay, what I will do and what I did at the final result is to find the moon and do the exact same thing, but reverse it. So I'll click on the image here of the moon and go inside advanced and go inside custom CSS and insert the CSS again here. But I will change this uh, ID to moon maybe and then just make sure it's the same up here. So it's moon and then go back. Now it's actually also moving, but I will just re uh, set this process. So it goes from 100 percentage to zero. All right, so we're almost there. So what we need to do now is just change this. I think it was something like this. And then I will set this to uh, minus in the bottom uh, of maybe 80. So it's kind of behind the moon, maybe not that much. And then the last thing is to find this bottom image and just 
add in an entrance animation here. So I'll just choose fade in up like this. Okay, so how about if we want to make this responsive? It's actually almost already uh, responsive. You just need to kind of change some of the sizing of the things. So I'll just go ahead and change this and make the moon a bit uh, bigger. There you go. And uh, the scroll snapping feature is also actually working perfectly. So you can see here when I scroll down, it's it's working. You just need those few adjustments and it also works on tablet. So what about the other sections? Well, you just have to duplicate this process again and uh, insert the other pages you want. So I think that was it for this video. If you like content like this, check out this video with five GZAP scroll trigger websites you can steal.